something that really struck me about this movie was kind of the the villain of it was less kind of I know Susan Sarandon plays the villain and is cord and all this, but there's also the threat of you know, gentrification, being removed from your home, all these kind of like big topics that are brought into this superhero movie. Kind of what went into the decision to bring those into this film? We, the writer and I, we wanted his this first movie to be his takes to be more on the personal side, mm. not on the global side. And because we wanted to build to that. We wanted yeah. like maybe the next movie we can save the planet, right? <laughs> you know, yeah. save the world from alien destruction, whatever you want to make it be. But first we really wanted to focus on the things that we fear. Mm. Like uh, growing up, we did not fear alien invasion. We just fear home insecurity, yeah. food on the table. We're gonna, you know, gentrification, displacement, erasure. Those are things that are 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 villains in our daily life. Yeah. You know, and the people that perpetrate those things. Mm. So ultimately, that's sort of like what we try to do with. Yeah, she is core. She's the villain, but. Is what she does to the communities that is the real villain of the yeah. story. Yeah, it definitely gives it a different feel because it's there's no sky beam. It's like real threats that you can feel as a human as well. Yeah, it makes it more visceral too. Like things that happen to the Reyes mm. is stuff that you have seen on the news that can happen next door. Yeah, yeah. You know, so by doing it that way, I feel like it's just it's just a great starting point, mm. so that you know where this hero come from, and now you can share for him without having to go through all of that again.